Right then guys, what's going on and welcome back. So, this is going to be a very, 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 very short stream. Because I have got nothing to say. Nothing to say. Other than this was exactly expected. Exactly expected. We, are finished, mate. we have got a really decent chance today, or had a decent chance today, to allow Chukwameka and Nkunku to cook. Chukwameka gets benched. Poch has publicly said, and publicly said, that basically Mudrik isn't good enough. And it's ba basically, uh, he said publicly, Mudrik isn't trying. And he said publicly that he's playing players in form. The reason why I know this is an absolute lie is because of the fact Sterling is the most out of form player. Chukomeka is in form when he came on, yes, uh, you know, against what a team you in, in the second half. And then he doesn't get played. This man will sack himself. And this man, I'd even pay for his flights to get him out of London. I, I am now on like very close to being feeling the same way as what I did with Potter. Right. And. Potter, you can kind of give a little bit more slack because Potter was somebody that's just had no experience at the high level, right? Poch has. Poch has had experience at the high level, yeah? This is worse because of that. This guy, I, I don't know if he's bumped. I don't know if he's been tripped over. I'm not even playing, mate. I'm only going to be on for a bit. Um, I don't know if the guy's like at a full knocked his head i don't know like i'm serious as well i'm not even joking by saying that this guy has generally got like some sort of problem some sort of problem because if he's going if he's made a public statement that he is just picking players based on form and you're picking sterling every week you are graham potter in disguise my bro you are graham potter in disguise picking mates again the second you start picking mates over players, you've lost the dressing room. You've lost, mate. You've lost. Get out. Get out. Completely just leave now. So, I'm not angry because I knew by our lineup we'd lost. This is the level of Chelsea now that I can now completely determine a win, loss or draw based on lineups. I see the front, the front attack again. Just a mess. I see the fact that Conor Gallagher, anytime Gallagher gets started, we lose. It's it's just it's just obvious. It's absolutely obvious. And uh, I'm not going to rage. I'm not going to moan. I'm not going to shout. Because the matter of fact is, this problem has been here for way long enough now. If Todd Bowley does not sack this manager, I will turn big time on the freaking ownership. Because this man needs to get out now. He should have. He should have left a few months ago. Should have left before Christmas. Should have left way before Christmas. You can't have it, and I don't care if anybody goes back. You've had two managers, and it's both failed. They're both managers that have not won anything. They're both managers that continuously play players out of position, and they're both managers with zero game plan. Their in-game management's shocking. Their man management shocking. Their tactics are shocking. The way they get everything every week wrong is shocking. If, if you even have a manager at Chelsea Football Club for three weeks in a row and you get things wrong, questions are asked straight away. You've got to be on it. This is why Emma Hayes is so good, because every week she's on it. She knows what she's doing. Shouldn't make a difference for the men's team. Shouldn't make a difference for the men's team. Everybody knows our best eleven. Everybody knows that we need physicality in our team. So why play Conor Gallagher over Chukwameka when he's got the height advantage? And he's actually a much better attacking player than Gallagher by miles. Players being treated unfairly, being accused in public of things. It's, it's, Poch needs to get out now. Completely all protests should start happening because like, this is, this is now a joke. No, I don't think so. Me, things will happen. I'm sh I'm sure of it, but I, I don't believe it happened. I don't believe it happened whatsoever.
We're in big trouble now. Flex, you're right, bro. This is why I'm so critical of managers not getting sacked early enough. Because if you don't sack managers early, right, if it goes wrong, you're in a 10 times worse of a mess for, do for not sacking them early enough. Because situations like this happen where you lose every week and it's becoming normal. In fact, I'm coming on stream, guys, not to moan. If we, um, yeah, exactly. If we, um, sorry, yeah. Like, it's, I'm used to it. I'm not even moaning. What can you do as a fan? What can you do as a fan? What, put Poch in a headlock and not let him out until he um, accepts leaving the club? That's not going to work. Can't do that. You can't do anything. All of the points I made a second ago... Right? Are reasons to sack Poch alone. Gallagher had the chance to leave the club for big money in January. Yeah. Poch didn't want to do that. He wanted to keep him for the Chelsea project. Yeah. But Gallagher is shocking going forward. Shocking. Every time he plays for Chelsea, we lose. Yeah. And then the second, right... January transfer arrives. Right, so Ian Matson, we need a left back. Matson goes out to um, this is Poch again. Matson goes to Borussia Dortmund. Okay, fair enough. People still would say, but it's the manager's decision. It's the manager's decision. Trust the process. Trust the process. So then, what happens? He goes out on loan and has a miracle. And then, and then we needed a striker for the remainder of this season till the summer. And we allow Datro Fafana to go to Burnley and in 30 minutes he scores two goals against the Fulham side that we can't do anything against. So this manager is arguably, arguably worse than Potter. In a way. In a way. I don't think so I don't think um Graham Potter sabotaged a transfer window. This is like Poch is on the payroll of Tottenham just to sabotage Chelsea West London or something. Now, like, it, <laughs> the things he's doing is just, it's, he's not right. Something's gone wrong in his brain. Something's generally gone wrong in his brain. And, uh, you know, in, in some ways here, we need to get whacked in this game. If it is actually 3-1, then, like, come on, bring it on. Keep going. Because this needs to be a heavy scoreline for the board to realise this isn't working. I am now prepared and to sacrifice my own football club that I love to be walloped until this manager goes because this guy is not going to do a thing here at all. We need to get a manager in that's won something before and, 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 and sign paperwork that you're going to play players in their correct positions as well. Play your best team. Because to have to have a manager, I would, yeah, I, I generally would. And I know he's not the same as what he used to be, but he would definitely sort mentality out in the dressing room, for sure. And again, Reese, I, I absolutely disagree. We need more. We need more players. I don't think we need new. Because why is it, Reese? why is it when these players go off to international duties and they perform like hell? These players aren't bad. They just can't be molded into a team because we have no structure. We have got no game plan. We've got no idea, no identity. With no, There's no patterns of play. There's nothing. Hello. It's just a mess. So I'm literally not even mad because, like, in some ways, we need to get whacked. Things will be said behind this. And I tell you what, things should... I, I think everyone can speak up now. I know. I know, mate. 
he has lost his mind, bro. Like to the point that I generally fear for his health, because like he's not thinking straight. Yeah, I know. I've got it here, bro. Yeah, I've got it here. So hopefully it goes four, five, six, because maybe things start happening then. Didn't Paul even struggle at the SG with Messi, Neymar, and Neymar? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. All I'm going to tell you that is this, and I have said this before. Yeah, people can slander players all they like, right? If anybody watched the Maidstone game, you saw a manager execute a game plan and players. They beat a team way better than them. That's because they had a structure, they had a game plan and an identity. And they respected the manager. And they executed well. Yeah, that's number one. Number two, look at Rudiger under Frank Lampard. Lampard, who's never won anything in his life. And he's a shocking, 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 shocking manager. Yeah, unbelievable football player, manager, shocking. Yeah. Made Rudiger look like one of the worst centre-backs in the league. Tuchel comes along. All of a sudden, we're Champions League winners. And Rudiger is top three centre-backs in the world. That is because you've got a whopping manager that's come in. With, an, with again, again, Jack, I'm not even going to say anything about it. Because when you've got a manager that comes in, that's a good manager. It, it transforms players. I turned it off at half-time. I turned it off at half time. Why did you even sack Tuchel? Now, after now, bro, now I'd take Tuchel back in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. Because they are obviously going down the route now of signing inexperience everywhere. And I and I would just, I, you know, it's, it's getting to a point now where I think, I, I, I think academy coaches are going to be going into the dressing rooms. I think Terry's going to end up having to go in. Because uh, it's just out of control. It's out of control. So something's going to end up happening. <laughs> the only people they've kept at that football club under, from Abramovich time yeah, is all the academy stuff. Not all of them, but some of them. And you can see the, the difference in mentality than what we've got now. Our academy is still unbelievably good. Yeah, because it's winner mentality, win at all costs, getting that into the players' heads. They give everything. Yeah. But our first team, since the Bowley era, it's just, it's just like, nah, just go in, give your best, that's it. Not win at all costs. There's going to be major, 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 major boos at the end of this game. Like, big time. And good. But all I'm saying to you is this. This is Gareth Southgate. What do you say? Because I guarantee you, if this was our England team, people would be uproar up to the manager. It's just all wrong. What is this? What?
By the way, keep an eye on Phylogeny by Archie Cracking Player. Galahara can why? Again. Ask Poch, mate. Ask Poch. Because these are players on form, lads. This is why this team's getting selected. These are players on form. I, I think they should, uh, you know, uh, things need to happen before things get nasty. And it's just like, the, it, it's it, things should be happening now. Things are going to get extremely toxic and like, you know, fans are going to end up protesting and it ends up in fucking violence and shit. So it's just, this is sabotage and it maybe fucking Bowley's trying to sabotage the club. But who knows? Who knows? I'm just annoyed by the whole thing of this. Well, Kepa's been crap since he's left, but Rudiger, yeah, Rudiger be laughing. Not be Palmer can Sterling right. Side Shouldn't be Sterling at all, mate. Shouldn't be Sterling at all. If if it's if it's based on form, and if it's based on where players left off, it should be um. What's it called? Uh, not Sterling. Uh, Chukwameka and. What's it called? Chukwameka should have started the game. I'm just trying to. Okay, Who's that? Uh, a minute. I just heard some random person then just join my thing. Who's that? Is this someone from the chat or is this like a troll or something? Martinez is injured again, loudly crying face. <sighs> it was him in your lobby next to you. Oh no, Paul heard you. He is now in your lobby face with this. <laughs> Roman Abramovich chance. It will happen. I mean, look, don't get me, don't get me wrong, right? If if we don't now sack Poch, yeah, after the, I, even after the transfer window we had as well, That's where he was causing absolute carnage in that place, and um, you know allowing Datra Fafana to leave because he didn't want him for our system, allowing players like Gallagher to stay uh, when we were off we were offered way more than what he's worth, and then we allow people like Matson to go and stuff like that. He, it's sackable in itself. So um if 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 when Stanley and, and Bowley and that don't sack this manager now, then I'll be turning. I'll be turning. And I and if I was there, you know <laughs> it's you know how chance are like. No idea, mate. No, no clue. I don't even know if it's a, like a person from the stream or not, because I've never heard no, that before. Ben, you're right, bro. Yeah, that's why I left, Drew. That's why I left. Just heard this voice and then looked up and then realised there was somebody else there. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Like, it has to be done now. 
we are now in a situation where it's sacked in the morning. It should be. I'm trying to get the stream back up for uh, hearing all this Roman Abramovich stuff. I just feel sorry for the fans that, that go, to be honest. Because people can say, like, oh, it's part of football, though. You win some, you lose some. This is fucking sabotage, this. Brilliant. <sighs> yeah. And M25 is closed as well. Fantastic. Dan do a Chelsea Caramode on FIFA win them some trophies. And what annoys me as well, what what's annoying me more than anything, is the media keep putting up picture photographs of Conor Gallagher like everyone loves Gallagher. No one likes Gallagher. If you're a Chelsea fan, nobody likes Gallagher. No one likes him. Nobody likes him. He, he does nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. It's an English player again that just gets overhyped, talk, spoke about all the time. He's got no ability whatsoever, Gallagher, going forwards. Nothing. Nothing. And he's a guy that's oozing confidence as well, so I'm not having any of that confidence excuse. You can see in his face he's, he accepts confidence. He wants the ca captain's armband and everything else. So I'm not... It's... it's. He just needs to get out. Leave. Yeah, everyone's saying now, everybody I've seen, absolutely every twi uh, thing I have seen now is saying that this manager has to be sacked tonight, has to be sacked tonight. No questions, no nothing else. I'm going to try and get this back on because I want to hear these boos. Because I think shit's going to kick off at the end of this game.
because that's another thing as well I don't have BT anymore so it's where, what's Sky Sports doing why aren't they having games People should be going on strike. Nobody should be turning up to work like that. Ah, but Mudrick's the problem. Mudrick, Mudrick's the problem. Mudrick. Oh, Gallagher's the answer. Gallagher's the answer. Mudrick isn't a professional player. He can't do anything else. Two games he's been dropped, two games we've lost. This is fucking depressing. By absolute hammerings. Yep, 4 1. Yep. Will, like, there's gonna be. This is actually good, bro. Just trust me. Trust me on this. This is good. If we're gonna lose the game, this is good that we're losing it by a big amount. 5 1, and I think. Things will actually possibly happen. That's that's eight goals we've conceded in two games now. And it, there's no excuse of like, this is the start of the project. This is a blip or anything else. This is, we have been shocking. Well, since after pre-season. Our pre-season was fantastic. Poch was doing everything right. He was playing players in their correct positions. And, uh, you know, soon as soon as the season actually started, it was just pear-shaped straight away. So many things again. So many things again. That's a repeat performance. I saw the lineup at the start and I knew we'd lose. Not by this amount, but I thought it might be an easy 2 0 walk over us. We won't create anything. And do you know what's mad, Will? Do you know what's crazy? We scored first. This is just. Disgraceful. Absolutely disgraceful. I'm I, I'm definitely in the minority here, right? Of but there's reasons why I'm in the minority situations. Because I've seen this all before. All before. I've I've seen this in real life. And these players, I can promise you, are not the problem are not the problem. They are a little bit of an issue. Yes, the experience thing is a major problem. Yeah. But literally, the main problem here is the manager. 100%. And I, and I promise you guys, but people will, will say, like, players this players that money here money there you know I, I, don't, I don't you know you, you could go on monopoly and over overpay for somebody's mayfair you know it, it is what it is so money doesn't mean anything what 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 the, the, the main problem is is you've got it's like having fishing gear you've got all the fishing gear but don't know how to use it so there's no point having fishing gear is there so it's just like it's just generally pointless. I, I mean, that's that's actually really bad, if that's the case. I don't want us to score. I just want us to get battered. Well, this manager needs to go. Surely he gets the sack after this game. I mean, now now it's now it's four. Can't concede four at home to Wolves. But this is the thing, Jack. They accept it. They accept it. We can't do anything as a fan base to get that manager out. Yeah, it is 4-2 for fuck's sake. I don't want us to... I'm actually really annoyed. That's, that's your opinion and that's fair enough, mate. But I absolutely 1000% disagree. Because a few weeks ago, Mark, you was absolutely going gun ho on, on Pochettino. 
this is what happens, right? That football is more than just players on a pitch. It's your mental state. It's your confidence levels. And it's and it's it's how you're feeling as a person. Yeah, but not today, bro. And it's just like they need they need a psychiatrist in that room. Because it, what happens if you don't... Sa I said this even under Lampard. I even said this under Lampard when we had Lampard because it got bad. But do you know what was different then? We sacked him in time. We sacked him in time because I remember to the day I was streaming Call of Duty's Easter Egg on, this, on, on my PlayStation, on this YouTube channel. And I said that we need to sack... Lampard. Two days later, he was sacked. Poch came in, we lifted a Champions League trophy because the damage psychologically was not damaged enough on the players. So they managed to get their head up. New manager, let's go. With Graham Potter, we were four months or three months too late of sacking him. The damage was caused psychologically. New managers come in and they've already got the same habits. And then the new managers come in now of, of Gra Graham Potter... Uh, of of Poch and he's totally clueless totally clueless a couple yeah and this is the thing Mark Gallagher the, 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 the mad thing is today bro right the mad thing is today Poch said live to everybody yeah publicly he is picking a team based on form we've gotten smashed against Liverpool Gallagher's still playing He's rubbish. I don't like Gallagher at all. I don't see anything in his game ability. And the guy's actually got quite a bit of confidence because he's our second command captain. Yeah, so he's somebody that keeps his head up and keeps his head focusing forward. So there's no excuse. Gallagher's rubbish and he started. Chukwameka, yeah, was the only bright spark when he came on for Chelsea. Doesn't get started. Left on the bench. Physicality as well is what Poch wanted in January. Well, you've got it there, my mate. You've got it there. Six foot two Chukomeka coming on off the pitch. Nah, don't want to start him. Again, that's the manager, not the players. And then and then the other thing, Sterling. Sterling, Raheem Sterling. Yeah. What has that man done? What has he done? He's, he's beyond his... Like, he's at his you can't get any better at his age. Yeah. He is, what is he, 29, Sterling. Yeah. No excuse. No excuse. And that man, week in, week out, consistently has been rubbish. And what does he do? What does he do? Wrecks Mudrick's confidence. Absolutely destroys his development. He, he sends people out on loan that shouldn't be out on loan. He sends Datro Fafana to Bernie, who scores two goals in 30 minutes. We haven't got a striker at the football club. And, and, and then you go and we haven't got a proper left back uh, other than Colwell and then who's Chilwell has only just come back. We go and send Matson off to Dortmund, who's got multiple assists already. This is criminal. This is undefendable. People can't defend this. If I, I generally think now, if people are defending Poch, it's it's like either a, a prank, joke, or just delusion. In my opinion, I think it's genuine, like incredible. If people are going to defend Poch after this, we have taken too long. I'm not going to sit here now and say sack Poch tonight because it'll help us in the future, right? The damage is now done. We should have sacked this manager months ago. This manager should have been sacked before Christmas. This is now because we didn't sack him in Christmas. This is where why we where we are where we are. We've got players like Baddy and Shield making mega huge mistakes. That's not even to a professional standard. We've got De Sassi scoring own goals. We've got Silva deflecting the ball straight into his own net at one mile an hour. We've got players that are actually very good footballers under like under it's the same with Rudiger. It's it's incredible. It's incredible. They just don't look good enough, man. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying, bro, but it's all tactics. It's tactics. Like, look at the first goal as well. Caicedo isolated once again, which allowed him to be smothered by players because there's no there's no release pass. Enzo's too far forward. Gallagher's too far. There's no build-up structure. I'll tell you what this is, right? We have got the same similar sort of game style as what we had with Kante, but Kante is just unbelievably world-class, yeah, when we had Kante. One of the best DMs to have ever played football, Kante, at his prime. Yes, so he was always able to get out of it, right? But I think it's all tactical based. Kaiseido isn't world class yet and he's not anywhere near 
uh, Kante's level is a young lad that's come in to a new football club and you can't play him the same way as Kante. You can't do it. You can't do it, especially in a 4-2-3-1. That's why you've got two DMs for build-up. Why is, why is Enzo Fernandez being used as like freaking a cam or an attacking midfielder? In, in build-up. In build-up. It's the strain we're putting on our midfielders is terrible. And the other the other argument I've got there, bro, with this with this Gallagher uh, with this Caicedo and Enzo argument, right? Most games this season we've dominated possession, yeah. And people say dominating possession doesn't win you games. Okay, fair enough, that's correct. But if our midfield's the problem, you don't dominate games in possession. Impossible. If you've got shit bang average midfielders, you don't dominate possession in games. So I, I I disagree. I understand they're not performing and I understand the whole team isn't performing, but I am not going to blame these players until we've got somebody in, in, in that dugout that is, ex that is not experienced, but somebody that has won something and will get respect from the players. Because these players are literally all over the place. When you see us build up, there's no patterns of play. When you see us defend, there's no patterns. There's no structure. Who's going to recover the ball? Who's going to be in an angle to slow the counter attack down so we can get players back? It is just sprint, 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 sprint back. It's just carnage. It's absolute carnage. But to see Poch today leave Chukwameka out when we needed physicality and for him to say that we, we're only using players that are in form and yet you're using Sterling and Gallagher, it's a disgrace. Unforgivable. Unforgivable. He should have been gone months ago. Potch wasn't my first choice from Potter, but you take it because Pot Potter was just, just another insane. inexperience. And uh, yeah, I know they are, mate. It really is. I mean, that's even from fans that aren't Chelsea fans and people that don't obviously see it. I mean, to see things behind this, it's just, it's horrendous. There's only Jose we can get. But would you do it, mate? Because I'll tell you what, a, 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 a Jose Mourinho that's not, not, not even at his, you know, he's, he's not the same manager as he ever was, but he'd definitely get more out of these players. Jose would 100%, because what Jose still has is a foundation. We haven't got a foundation. It's like what Poch has done. He's come in and skipped. It's like watching a cutscene on a game and you skip the cutscene, but you haven't got a clue what you're doing. If you skipped a tutorial or if you skip something like in a game where it's trying to advise you on stuff, it's like pressing the skip button and going straight into it. And then you get into it and you're like, oh my God. Jose Mourinho will come in with a plan, a genuine plan, and will structurally sort us out. He will straight away jump on the defence thing. And I think he'll sort our defence out completely. But yeah, to, to get at least wins back on, on the thing. My, my phone's going berserk. It's slowing my phone down as well because I'm just getting messages after messages, bleeding emails and... So nervous for our game. But honestly, guys, like... The reason why I'm now, like, so annoyed, so angry, because even if we were to get Mourinho in now psychologically I know these players are damaged yeah these players are psychologically now damaged they are young lads that have come into a genuine mess right a genuine mess and even if you were to get Mourinho in and even if you were to even get Xavi in or someone right at the football club because there are a lot of man managers that are going to become available potentially in the summer that could end up happening so there are options about but i i just think we need to get Mourinho 
urgently because Mourinho, yes, he's not as good as he used to be, but he will come in with rules for one. It will literally be basically it's like having a, I don't know, a karate class. You've got a weak sensei. You don't respect him. If you've got a strong sensei that will beat your ass if you, you know, mess up or, or kick shit out of you if you do things wrong, he will, um, you've got respect. And Mourinho will come into that dressing room and straight away, day one, respect. You put 110% into your training, you listen. You go, you go in, yeah, he will do. You go into, um, What's it called? The dressing room before games, pre-match talk, tactics, whatever. Eyes on Mourinho. You listen. He will get that straight away. But what ultimately he will do from experience and from a winner's point of view, he will come in and have a game plan. And he will have an identity and a way that we can get through this. Togetherness. Poch has come in and created a genuine mess. And I do, even though these players have screwed up, I generally feel sorry for them because it's that they, they, I mean, will I pay for the bloody flights for Poch to get out? It's that bad. It just, just hundred quid out the bank. Just go, mate. See you later. Have you, have your flight paid? Get out. Go to Spain or something. Have a, have a, have a beer. Leave. I mean Gallagher, bro. No, I, I know, I, I know, I know, but I, I'm just so sick. Even Gallagher probably improves under Mourinho, bro. And I don't like Gallagher whatsoever, but all these players will. I keep saying Rudiger. I keep saying Rudiger because that's the best example that you that you can have as a Chelsea fan. Under Lampard, Gallagher, uh, Rudiger was going to leave. He was terrible. Everyone was attacking him, and and everything else. And then Tuchel came along from the worst defender in the league to second best. And it's just, you don't improve because you've development at that age. You've been improved because a manager uses your attributes to the best. I know, mate. I know. I know. And you know what, Drew? This is another reason why I don't blame players. And I said this earlier on. It's because when these individual players go out to their clubs, uh, to their internationals, they score, they get on the team sheet. They're all in the in the papers for doing crazy things. And they come back to Chelsea and they're back to to uh, to to just lost their heads. Or they're out of position or they're being subbed on when it's too late. So I will not, I will not blame any of these players until we get a manager in of Mourinho's level. Because we have psychologically ruined them. And to to him, yeah. But to to to, to he, like seeing what these players are saying is just it's just ah uh, depresses me. It depresses me. It just depresses me. Because what is true? These players do. Do do bits in uh, in training and stuff. Yeah, look look at the tweets now. Carefree Lewis. Is this is this uh, brand of football acceptable to you? We we're 11th February. Stop fucking accepting failure and sack Pochettino tonight. That's number one, and that's to hashtag at Bowley. Uh, yeah, win Stanley and everyone else. But honestly, like, unless you guys have either been in the game or seen the game or whatever. Yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, I have seen situations. Players do crumble. They do. It, it happens. If they don't believe in themselves or believe in what they're doing or say you're under pressure at your job, you know, they do terrible things. But when the confidence is back, when they believe in something's working and when they're all working as a team, kaboom, you know, the, it clicks. 
There is clearly, and I'm not saying this out of frustration, there is clearly l lack of... Um, lack of planning into games or if they are planning into games it's naivety because what you're seeing on the pitch is is just a joke and when you see Potts standing at the side as well I made rolling on the floor laughing. Don't think any manager can save this mess. It's too late, Will. It's too it's too late, bro. It's way too late. Should have been sacked again before way before Christmas. The only the only way it can be saved is by getting somebody of an elite leveled you know, a previous winner of a trophy. Somebody that's lifted it up. Because at least then you listen to your manager. I've got no thoughts on any of anybody from from Wolves, Luke. This has just been a shameful joke from Poch and and uh, you know Chelsea. So I've got nothing, no thoughts on anyone else but that. I've got nothing. Wolves must have done something good to score for. <laughs> two own goals and two defensive shaped jokes and and we yeah, just started the wrong team. We just started the wrong team again. It is what it is. Even even Conte, mate. Uh, you know, if if they if I see tonight Pochettino sacked Conte in tomorrow. You know, Conte, again, he's not my first choice, but he's a winner. He's won Chelsea Premier League before and stuff like that. I know different circumstances and everything else, but I, I don't trust Conte with a developing squad, but he would get respect from players and he would fix the defence. If Mudrick is getting a Ballon d'Or, then Garnaco is getting four. Yeah, but the funny thing is, Mark, Mudrick won't be at Chelsea. He won't be at Chelsea. He won't be at Chelsea. So he won't win it at Chelsea. I think wherever he goes, he could win it. Everyone will blame the players, whether if that's just to irritate and wind me up or whether if that's just because that's generally your opinion. But people will blame the players because I think they're the easiest, e easiest aim. Oh, I think he'll end up at a big club, bro. I think I think scouts will, will, will genuinely like... If we put him up for sale, I buy Munich. I think he'll go, some, he'll go somewhere. Just mistreat players. Proper footballing people would would. Yeah, but if we put his transfer value lower down, you know, we and I know like obviously situations, but if nothing Sterling's boot. Yeah. Well, I mean. Uh, 
and like I say, Frank, that that Frank guy just put uh, something on Twitter now. Roman Abramovich would not have let things happen this bad. Yeah, obviously, the Graham Potter thing would have been sorted, and then it would have been fine after that because we would have sacked him early enough. And this is what we done under Lampard. We sacked Lampard before psychologically things weren't. No, that's not. I'm not reading what he's saying. That's just what I'm saying. He's just said Roman Abramovich would not have let things get this bad. That's that's what he said. But under the Lampard situation, when we had him, it was dealt with absolutely perfectly. Just as things were starting to get bad. And, um... I mean, De Zerbi might work, but it's the same issue again as, like... I think, in a way, the reason why Brighton is so good is because of the way that their football club is run. You know, Graham Potter done well to 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 Brighton. De Zerbi came in, made Brighton better than Potter, but is there's a cut bit of a pattern now. Is is it just because Brighton are, are run very well? Possibly, and and the other issue with De Zerbi coming in is is he hasn't won hasn't won anything. He's not won a thing. I think Mourinho is just absolutely the best possible option we've got right now. And I know people can say he got sacked, this, that and the other, but there were Roma fans in tears at the, by the cars when he left. Is getting found out now. But I, um, yeah, you're right, Jack. I, I agree with that, to be honest. But um, I just think in a way, like, Mourinho, is Mourinho will, yeah. yeah, but I just think he still has that like aura of of the. I just think he just bring that like. One, he bring the belief in of the fans and the hype again, and two, I think he he just come in with a plan and start right from the foundations from the bottom and make sure because with Mourinho is a perfectionist and obviously as he's got older he's a little bit maybe not quite as on it as he used to be but Mourinho will not move on to the next stage until that first stage is done to a distinct you know um, an elite level yeah so if they go through the first phase of the foundations they will make sure the defensive situation is absolutely faultless and then you move on to the next bit and how you're going to evolve that situation until that's to an elite level. Then you move on to the next thing. And that's he's methodical. He's somebody that just is a perfectionist, doesn't accept. Mourinho even said on an interview that um, if Chelsea wasn't two nil up by half time, he'd have an absolute go at the players at half time because it's a it's it's a set the tone. It's it's a standards thing. And he only recently said that. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that guy that runs around the touchline anymore? He's still. Got, I saw him at Roma getting up and running about, and moaning at linesmen, but. He's not as good as he used to be, but he is a million times better, I think, than what we've got now. And that is all I'm asking for. That's all I'm asking for. Long term, we can't we can't survive on a long term thing. We have to we we have what fuck off, because I've had nothing. I have his up front against Kunat and Panda. Well, are you serious? I've not had a message, bro. Oh, bro, what's happened now? Where's this club statement? What's happened? Fallen off the seat, bro. Keep refreshing. No, mate, there's nothing here. Nothing. It's right here. 
Can you send it to me now? I see. This is weird, bro. Because I would have had a. No, no, no. It can't be. It just says defeat for the Blues for me. Wait a minute. Let me. Club statement, Po has the full backing of the club. Nah, where is that? Hold on. Going nowhere. Yet seen it. Man, I've not seen anything you've seen, and I've just sent off. I can't see any anything. Chino's full backing to get the best possible results. <sighs> oh my God! Look outside Stamford Bridge now. This fucking. Oh, they are. They're blocking them. They're blocking them from getting out. They're blocking. They're yeah. Look, look. Here we go. They do. I think they're doing what they done at Crawley, Drew. You remember when they stopped your manager from coming out of the grounds? Fucking hell. This is crazy. Hold on a minute, lads, because I need to... Daniel. Paul would still be in the office right game just finished.
unbelievable. This is crazy, isn't it? What's the huffing and puffing for Dan? No, oh, it's just. Get Jose in charge with JT as the assistant. Do you know what, mate? I'd take it. I mean, te the Terry situation is possible anyway for the remainder. Of, I'd, 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 you know, Terry needs to get in that dressing room, hundred percent. Players are just mentally warped. They, they, they're stuffed. Their, their careers are in danger now. It's kicking off big time. Would it be ter I think it would just be... What, if, if it was an interim, you mean? If it, if, if it was... um, What's it called? If, if it's an interim, it would be Terry, I would have thought. But I don't know if Terry would take the job. I mean... Yeah. I, This this is this is the most I've seen. This kick this is kicking off more than even with Graham Potter. This what about Big Sam? didn't say yes Thomas but to let people like go on loan when you need them it's it's criminal it's criminal to see that I mean that trophy, this is why it's like something so sus why why is it like Players are being favoured, like it's it's just a favouritism. Datro Fafana, when he first played for us, he was brilliant, and then gets dropped. But it's the players' fault. People say it's the players' fault. It's the players. But how is it the players' fault when the guy comes in and does brilliantly as a faultless performance, then gets dropped? And now he's out on loan at Burnley and scored two goals in 30 minutes. And yet the likes of Sterling gets played every week. Gallagher gets played every week. Didn't Kunku play today? Yeah, it's a bloody... Um, I think, he, in fact, he might have even been playing as a right wing. I think it was him at right wing, and then and then uh, Palmer is like a striker or something. Like it's it's just a mess. It's like a rotational mess. One minute Nkunku's the striker, and then the next minute he gets moved out to the right wing position, and then that's not working. Then he has to get moved. Some. It's just crazy, mate. It's just crazy. No one knows where to be. The stands emptied out at 80th minute. Yeah. It's not fair but that's because they all went outside and blocked the exit. They're all they're all by the uh, Chelsea gates. They're not allowing anybody out of the fucking thing. And it's just it's just crazy. Not that I'm going to defend Mudrick, but apparently someone said Mudrick got an assist or something when he came on. Is that true? I mean, I, again, I don't. I'm not gonna say like, ah, oh, Budrick's got an assist. Ha, ha! Told you, told you. But it's just another thing where the guy comes off and has an impact, but he won't start next week because it's this favoritism. 
Because it's this favouritism shit. Honestly, I've never seen ever, ever, ever Stamford Bridge this toxic before, ever. If I'm honest, if, if I'm totally like what I'm feeling right now, do I think Poch will get sacked today or tomorrow? No, I don't. But I think if <laughs> it should be, if we lose to Villa in the FA Cup at home, which is extremely likely, then I think, yes, he will. So I think he'll be sacked on Wednesday uh, on Thursday. Because Wednesday we'll be playing and then by Thursday we'll be gone. All fans joined in with Wolves chanting about Chelsea being shite. Yeah, I, I know, mate. I did, I did actually see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our runner games. Aston Villa, lost. Uh, Crystal Palace, away from home, lost because we can't play from away from home. Um, Man City, away, lost. Tottenham, away, lost. Liverpool, Carabao Cup final, lost. Brentford, away because they're a tactical team, lost. Newcastle at home, lost. Arsenal, away, lost. So that's all of the games we've got coming up and we're going to lose every single one of them, I feel. And then, we, and then on the 30th of March, we've got Burnley. Maurizio Potticino will not be our manager at the end of the win at the end of the, the season. No way. He's not going to survive it. He's not going to survive it. If you've got play, if you've got, if you've got fans blocking the exit gates now. If you've got fans blocking gates now, then uh, imagine what it's going to be like after another like ten losses in a row. And that's realistic as well. Like, you could probably argue, like, if I was to say it in a proper realistic way. Next game, Villa away, FA Cup. Realistically, we've lost. Palace away from home. We aren't very good away from home anyway at the best of days. And I don't trust Poch at all in what he's going to select. So you could probably say draw there away from home, which is still horrendous. So a draw to Palace. Um, so that's still no win. Then we've got Man City away. That is definitely a loss. Then we've got Tottenham at home, a loss. Then we've got Liverpool in the Carabao Cup final. That is a loss. And again, this is all realistic predictions. Brentford away from home. And Brentford are a good tactical side. We've lost. Chelsea against Newcastle. Well, we've lost. Arsenal away from home. We're hammered. And then already that's that's it. I cannot see him surviving, which is why now he should be sacked, because it's clearly obvious he's not going to get wins in these games. So why waste your time? I mean, look, if I'm going to tell you the, the truth here, the reason why pro like Chelsea didn't spend in January because of one reason, it's because of the summer's going to be an absolute mayhem and we haven't got the money at this moment in time with the FFP situation going on to spend in January. Yeah. So in the summer is when we're going to spend big. Right. But the main reason of all. These owners and the, the, everybody else, I don't think believes they can trust this manager. I don't think they, they trust him to spend. Because I, I, maybe 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 they're thinking shit. If he's not going to be here, you know, for for um, long term, why why should we back him? So I I, I mean, it's it's just it's unbelievable, isn't it? You actually can't put into words just how bad this is. It's shocking.
I mean, just look at look at the look at their faces as well. Yeah. Yeah. Even I can hear it now. We're fucking shit. And look at this. There's even banners. There's even banners at Stamford Bridge as well. They were hanging over the side. The only way is Joe say, bring back the special one. Welcome home. Jo it's, it's just crazy. It's crazy. There's banners up at the stadium. Because people knew we were going to lose. So they came prepared. If we had won today, it wouldn't, they wouldn't have put the banners out. But they knew that we'd lose. Unbelievable. It's... it's <laughs> yeah, mad. Right. Anyway, guys... That's me done talking. And, uh, yeah, have a good Sunday. And um, I'll speak to you all later on. In a bit, guys. See you later.